Now that we know about zones and delegations, let's take a look at how our fictitious XYZ company fits into the overall DNS structure. When you see a picture like this, you should see domains everywhere. Basically, every single one of these nodes in the graph represents a domain. Like we've got the whole com domain, which encompasses everything below it. We've got the google.com domain, which surrounds everything underneath Google. We've got our XYZ domain. We've got our HR domain and so forth. But the, the zones are different. Up here at the top is the root zone that contains itself and all of the top level domains that you know, like com, net, edu, gov, org, and the country domains like UK, JP, US, and so forth. Below that is the com zone. It contains itself, plus all the .com domains like Google, Yahoo, Amazon, YouTube, and our fictitious xyz.com domain. Below that, we've got our XYZ company zone. The XYZ zone knows about the divisions within it like engineering, uh, human resources, plus it also contains the, the www.xyz.com web server. Then there's the HR zone, the engineering zone, and the development zone within engineering. Each of the examples I've shown you so far knows about itself and the items right below it. In other words, they're just two levels deep. That's not always the case. For example, I don't know if this is true, but Google might have set things up so that the google.com zone knows about everything underneath it, including this L subdomain and the nodes below that. Let me give you an overview of how DNS queries work. Let's say someone's trying to reach this point right here, which is mobile.dev.engineering.xyz.com. The query is going to come into the top and hit the root zone first. The root name server, which only knows about itself and the top level domains like com, net, and edu, is going to look at the query and see that it knows about com, which is over here on the right hand side. So the query gets passed down to the com zone. The name servers for the com domain look at the query and see that it's going to be going to the xyz.com domain. So it hands off the query to the next zone down. The query now goes to the name servers for the xyz.com zone, and it sees that it needs to go into ENG. So again, the query gets handed down to the eng.xyz.com zone. From there, it goes to the dev.eng.xyz.com zone, and the answer is found right here. This answer is then sent back to whatever computer was issuing the request. Let's look at another example. Perhaps someone is looking for this point here, which is asmpx.l.google.com. Once again, the query comes in at the top, hits the root zone. The root zone hands off the query to the com zone. The com name server hands off the query to the google.com zone, which, if you remember, includes this entire piece over here. And the answer is found right away. This answer is then sent back to whatever computer was issuing the request. In the next lesson, I'll show you an actual DNS query using real name servers and real IP addresses.